What is up, YouTubers? It has been a long time since I've po posted a video on this channel. Um, welcome back to my 5D journey. My name is Lucas, and I have been exploring my ascension um, through the spiritual plane over the last, I guess now it's been, gosh, um, a year and five months? It, it's almost wild that it's been that long. It's like 17 months I've been going through this whole um, exploration. It's making me want to go back and like watch the first video, just like thinking about it right now, go back and watch the first video, um, just to kind of see my growth. I keep touching my nose. I don't know why. <laughs> um, nose is connected to your root chakra. Um, let me tell you what happened. So, when I started this channel, it was all about divine inspiration. You know, it was about this message that came in from above and that was telling me that it's time to really go out and seek answers about your true calling and where you're going and what your purpose is. And I'm speaking in third person, I'm speaking in second person to myself as I say this, it's really odd. Um, <laughs> so much energy! <laughs> um, and throughout my time, you know, it feels like I've just been descending down my chakras. It started with, with this divine inspiration that led into this intuition of where I was going, that led into speaking my truth, that led into a lot of heart energy. I, it is so difficult to express how much growth I've experienced in my heart in the last 17 months. Um, my level of compassion has totally changed and shifted. My ability to love people unconditionally, no matter what they say, what they do, how they act, do and act, same. Um, it's just shifted. And then it moved down into this will center of taking control of my life, taking risks. And there's so many nervous ticks right now. I think it's because I'm actually, I haven't showered since last night. And so my body, like as I'm sitting here on camera, is going, you need to go take a shower. Um, and I was constantly not showering tonight, but I need to go shower. Um, and then it moved down into my creativity and my sensuality and who I am as a person when it comes to my expression through my sensuality and my creativity. And over the last six months, since I moved back from California, it has been root chakra central. Um, it's unbelievable how much shifting has happened in my base. And it's funny, as I said that, I like widened my stance. My feet were like this, and then I widened them out to like this. <laughs> Just to really like be like, boom, I am standing here, I am tall. Um, lots come up. Drama amongst family. Um, drama with friends. Um, fear, worry about where I'm going, what I'm doing, what, what's going on with my jobs, what's going on with my education, what's going on with everything. Um, stuff with work, like being an Uber driver and being part of my emotional intuitive job, like I love these jobs to pieces. Um, I really do. I've grown to really, really like those jobs. I'm honestly like, I'm kind of, kind of shocked because when it first started in December, like I was ready. I was ready to go through that. And then I started doing it, ready. And I started doing it and oh my God, like I had no idea the amount of lessons that were gonna come through that job. My feet just shifted again. They went from here, now they're like here. <laughs> just letting you know, cause you could see me standing, like you would like have a better idea of what's going on. Um, and I've become so grounded in myself. And it was when I started really embracing the fact that my security and my root and my energy from which my divine being flows is from the ground to the sky and the sky to the ground. When I finally found that sense of grounded energy, I've been able to stand up for myself and in a calm way. And let me tell you, things have come. Things have shown up in every aspect of my life. Emotionally, spiritually, financially, my body, my intellect, um, my finances. Like, did I say that already? <laughs> like, everything has gone under the radar. Um, and now I'm standing here and going, 
wow, and I'll tell you what the shift was. The shift was last night I'm having a dream, okay, and I'm super into dreams. Like, I am a big dream interpreter. Um, I feel like I have, like, say there's five levels. I feel like I'm like a second or third level dream interpreter, and anything that I do not understand, I look up. Okay, and so what happened last night was I'm at my Aunt Marlene's house, and I still haven't, I still haven't like, focused through why I was at that house. I'm still trying to figure that part out. Um, but I'm at my Aunt Marlene's house, and I'm with someone who doesn't have a face. Like, they're there, and they're with me, and me and this person are trying to light candles. It was two to four candles, and it kind of changed, and they weren't very big candles, okay, just candles, and as I'm trying to light these candles, fans are coming on. I mean, there are fans to the side, there are fans in the corners, there's air conditioning, there's fans above, and I'm trying to light these candles, and if you ever lit a candle with a fan in the room, it's freaking difficult. Okay, and these fans, I could turn them off. I could turn them off. I could turn them over. I could unplug them. I could move them. I could turn them. I could do hold on myself on top of them. It, it didn't matter. No matter what I did, they kept blowing out the candles. And as I've been facing my deepest, darkest insecurities, some of my insecurities are boiling to the surface in all my relationships. All of them. Family, friends, old lovers, new possibilities for lovers, co-workers, students, parents, like every single type of relationship in my life has been coming up to the surface. People bringing up all kinds of information and energy to me and going like, how do I process this right now? Like, what is going on? Like, how can I do this? And I look it up and it's all about the energy around me and how I'm trying to light my internal flame and my internal fire and there's negativity around me. And that's been something that's been happening for almost six months. Just negativity. It's been popping up in so many places. And what I've been doing that's really helped me is reminding myself how much I love people and how much I care for people and how when I finally get my internal flame going, which I believe was today, when I finally get that internal flame going, how that momentum will be unstoppable. There's this, this presence right now, and so I woke up this morning, and I've been praying a lot, you know, for guidance, and trying to, trying to find the right path, because I've been studying all the paths, all the paths. I've, I mean, not all of them, that's an exaggeration. I mean, who has time to study all of them? But every opportunity to study a different path that's come up in the last 15 years, I've chased it. I've chased it, looking for an answer. And what I realized was the answer is with inside. The fire, the energy, the safety, the security, the, the hope, the creative will, the strength, all comes from within. So I had that dream, candles going out, and I got up, and every candle in my house but four, because <laughs> I forgot that I had four candles on my toilet seat that I used to go around my bath when I bathe. I forgot about those candles. <laughs> I lit every single candle in this house. Every single one. I had candles in my intuitive room, in my living room, in my dining room, in my kitchen, in my bathroom, in my bedroom, I had them all lit up. I had them all around the windows, the doors, the piano, the shelving, the countertops, the counters in front of the mirrors in the bathroom, inside this hutch, around my bed, not well, beside my bed, next to my plants, in front of my television, on top of the place where I keep all my used dance shoes, on the things hanging on the walls, the shelves, candles, everywhere. And I lit all the candles up, and at some point I already, I already put, I already, I already, I already, a few of them already gone out, because they were little tea-like candles, right? The little bitty ones, they're like this big, they're like, you know, the size of a half dollar, and they're this big. Um, and I put all those candles up, 
and I sat down and I noticed I was feeling heat, like this very, very intense heat that I still have, that's still inside of me right now. And it was my first or second call, maybe it was my third call, first, first couple calls, someone called. And, you know, sometimes people ask me how I am. How are you? And sometimes they ask me how I are. So how are you, Potter? So, you know, today I... <laughs> they don't give me a chance to answer. <laughs> but this woman asked me how I am, and I've been really... If someone asks me how I am, I make a point to answer the question, because they asked me. And I told her, you know, about my dream. I said, I, I dreamed I couldn't light candles, so I got up and lit all the candles in my house. And she goes, wow, you must feel really warm. And I did. I felt really warm. So after I burned all my candles all the way down, all the tea light candles went all the way away, and then pause. Oh, it's hot. Ah, oh, it's hot. This candle, whoo, I can't hold it very long. Whoa, okay, putting it back, putting it back, putting it back. Whoa, that's hot. I have two of those. One was purple, one was like a reddish orange, and I have a big, like a, a big six inch diameter, six inch tall white candle that I lit and have not let go down. Like, I'm still burning them. I'm still burning them. It's been, it's one in the morning, so it's been 20 hours. Those candles have been burning for 20 hours. That one's been burning for 20 hours. Um, those are going to probably go out tonight while I'm asleep. I'll be asleep and those candles will burn out. And I'll wake up to that white candle still going. Um, and I really, I had to take control of my thoughts. You know, and my message right now for everyone is that no matter who you are, no matter where you stand, no matter who you're surrounded by, sometimes darkness just shows up. Sometimes darkness just shows up. And the only thing you can do when darkness shows up is to be calm inside the storm. Because our reaction, whether it be anxiety or fear or aggression or sadness or anger, if we allow ourselves to be taken over by those emotions, they will eat us alive. And there were moments over the last six months that I literally felt eaten alive. When I lost my cats and my cats just disappeared, I felt eaten alive. It was like someone had carved a hole inside of me that I thought would never be filled again. I genuinely thought I would never feel, 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 feel. I would never fill that hole. That it'd forever be there. And I made a video about this. I woke up one morning and I had a new cat named Athena who was Apollo's replacement. Who's right now digging and being her normal crazy self over there in the corner. <laughs> She's rolling around because they're both in heat right now. Um, and I woke up and she was in the same spot that Apollo used to be. And I remember going, you can always start over. The negativity only lasts as long as we allow it to. And that's the message is that when you finally find your sense of security and you ground yourself in your environment, everything will work out for the betterment. And it'll work out to a happy place where things are gonna go well. And you're gonna bring life to you in an abundant, joyful, happy way. And even right now, I can hear this voice in my head telling me, and he's so small now, like he used to be bigger than me when I was little, he was bigger than me. That insecurity was bigger. And over time, he became the same size as me. And then he shrunk down to like the size of like a four-year-old having a tantrum. I've had a lot of four-year-old tantrums in my head over the last six months. And right now, he's the size of Jiminy Cricket. He's about this big. And he's in this ear. Uh, he's about right here. He's right here. And he's talking. And he's telling me right now all these insecurities, these little one-liners. And my, re my response is, you have no power over me. These lies you're telling me, these insecurities that you're trying to preach into me, they, don't, they do not have power over me. I'm strong. I am 
stable. You know, and I woke up this morning and for some reason, because it was divinely inspired, I felt led to go play Candle on the Water. It's from Pete's Dragon. It's a very old movie. You know, if you, if you were born, like, past 1985, you might have a hard time remembering that in that movie, because it's, like, from the 70s. Um, but it's, I'll be your candle on the water. My love for you will always burn. I know you're lost and drifting, but the clouds are lifting. Don't give up. You have somewhere to turn. I'll be a ray of hope around you. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever she says. <laughs> There's a lot more, and I, yeah, I, those are the lyrics I remember right now. Um, and so, there's my message, guys. Stand tall in who you are. Believe in yourself. Make a change to shift towards the spiritual life. Trust that all of your choices that you've made that were to your detriment, habits, like I used to be a smoker. I used to be, I wouldn't call myself an alcoholic, but I like to drink. I used to smoke pot. In my early 20s and mid-20s, I did, I did recreational drugs. You know, in my late 20s, after all the recreational drugs, I was into pills that I was prescribed from a doctor because I was convinced that I had anxiety and I had muscle pain and I had a hard time sleeping and blah, 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 blah. I have all these issues. And it's like I told someone the other day who will remain nameless, but if you watch this video, you know who you are. I said, the reason why you can't sleep is because you haven't allowed yourself to find peace inside your mind. You aren't, you aren't at peace with your past. That's what this is all about. Forgive yourself, allow grace to enter you, and you will find that peace. And there's a message. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching my 5D journey, my 5D journey. Um, 5D, whatever, same thing. Um, 17 minutes and 15 seconds. This was supposed to be like a 5 minute video. Most of my 5D journeys are 5D videos, are 5 minute videos. Um, not this one. My sober self, because I'm sober, I've been sober now, completely sober from basically everything, um, for almost three weeks. I had one day where I went to go see a friend, and we smoked. I had two different days. One was my birthday, and I felt like I had a right to celebrate. We'll see what happens next year. I'm, I may not. I had my birthday, and I had one day that was really stressful that I went out and had two servings of alcohol that I sipped from a cup. I didn't shoot them. I sipped them over, like, two hours. And all three times I did that, I remember both in the middle and at the end going, this really doesn't serve me anymore. There's nothing about this that makes me feel better. Actually, I feel kind of disempowered by the fact that I have to go to this substance to find peace. Because that's reaching from without, from a place of lack. And peace comes from within. Thank you guys for watching. I am so grateful and thankful and joyful that I've had the opportunity to share this message with you. And I genuinely hope and pray that everyone that watches this has the opportunity to find their fifth dimensional self. Not the body of, of length, width, and height, the first three dimensions. Not where they are right now, or yesterday, or tomorrow, the fourth dimension. But where they are inside their fifth dimensional plane. Where are you? there? Where is your highest self right now? Because that person, the fifth dimensional version of you, that person doesn't know time. That person doesn't understand the restrictions of the body. That person is limitless. They're boundary free. And their potential for growth and evolution and abundance and joy is infinite. Be your highest fifth dimensional self. Because that, that's who you really are. Thank you for watching. 
I really, really am thankful. Push subscribe. Turn your notification settings on. Give the video a thumbs up. Unless for some reason you managed to make it 20 minutes in and you want to give it a thumbs down. <laughs> that, that does happen. I had a call the other day. Like I had literally 10 calls in a row. Out of those 10 calls, nine of them were 30 minutes, which is full. You can't go past 30 minutes. You have to recall. And one of them was 14 minutes, okay? And someone left a negative review that said, nope, no connection. And I was like, you stayed on the call for half an hour, so you must have been connected to something. <laughs> Some people are just sad. And there's nothing you can do about it. So let those people go. Let the sad people leave your life and own your happiness. Take, hey, what are you doing? My cats are crazy. I love you all so much. Thank you.